as today we'll be talking about uh, longitude uh, LHA and GHA and the relationships between the three terms uh, so LHA stands for local R angle and GHA stands for Greenwich R angle and when we talk about the relationship between longitude LHA and GHA uh, this longitude is not the longitude used as a point of reference for the surface of the earth but uh, longitude uh, in the celestial sphere which is called the celestial longitude all right so what is celestial longitude i'll explain that to you i'll first explain the longitude uh, as a point of reference that we use on the surface of the earth all right so let's start with the normal longitude uh, which is used on the surface of the earth so this is uh, you can see longitude is just a uh, it's a point of reference these are imaginary lines uh, vertical lines drawn on the surface of the earth or rather imagined on the surface of the earth and it's used for position position fiction uh, together with the latitudes so uh, intersection of a latitude and longitude on the surface of the earth is used as a position referencing system to find the position of a vessel at sea or even on, on the land all right so because we're talking more from a marine navigation point of view we'll talk about positions at sea so if you look at the diagram here uh, you can see this is the surface of the earth the circular this is the surface of the earth all right and on earth we imagine uh, horizontal lines uh, which are called uh, latitudes and we imagine uh, latitudes are uh, you know they are you know calculated in reference to the uh, latitude of zero degrees which is the equator uh, so if you go up from zero degrees is north and go down from zero degrees south so together with the latitudes we have uh, vertical um, reference lines uh, which are called longitudes. Now why these longitudes have not been drawn as straight vertical lines because on the surface of the earth it's a spheroid and that's how longitudes would look like. So unless you make the earth flat, uh, longitudes would appear as curved lines. Uh, they are like great circles which divide the earth into two equal halves. Uh, so because I have drawn it as a, like a three dimensional, imagine as a three dimensional figure uh, where earth is a, like a spheroid. So longitudes will come as curved lines. So anyhow, the intersection of a longitude and latitude uh, for example here will give you the position right it could be at sea or it could be on the land doesn't matter but it gives you the position it could be of a vessel or of a person or a car doesn't matter so that's a longitude you know what longitude is right now all right so longitudes uh, so just like we have a reference point for the latitudes uh, as the zero degree latitude which is the equator we need a reference point uh, for longitudes so the angular distance is measured from east or west from the greenwich meridian which is the meridian of zero 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 degrees right that's the greenwich meridian that greenwich meridian passes through countries like england so that's the greenwich meridian and longitudes east of greenwich meridians are called east longitudes and west of greenwich meridian are called west longitudes so of course countries like all the asian countries in australia they come in the east part and then america south america canada they all come in the west longitude right so we have the greenwich meridian as the reference point for longitude now why i explain the greenwich meridian is because when we start talking about the relationship between longitude gha and lha which is the topic for my video today we are talking more from a celestial sphere perspective all right so what we do is we actually project the longitude on the celestial sphere sphere and we call it celestial longitude and when we project the greenwich meridian onto the celestial sphere it's called a celestial greenwich meridian right so uh, when we talk about celestial navigation we project everything that is happening on the surface of the earth onto the celestial sphere um, which is like a sphere of infinite radius it surrounds the earth and uh, because when we talk about gha and lha we are talking about the heavenly bodies uh, and the angles at which those heavenly bodies are located so like on the surface of the earth because the distances can be measured we talk in terms of distances miles um, but uh, when we talk about celestial sphere we talk more from a perspective of angles uh, because the distances are so huge it's in light years away we talk about angles and then we use those angles to calculate all the other components such as you know, distances or uh, other bits and pieces so i won't go too much into the depth watch my other videos for that right now what i want to explain here is the uh, relationship between longitude or celestial longitude uh, gha and lha all right so we have the celestial longitude and celestial greenwich meridian which are the same as longitude and greenwich meridian on the surface of the earth but projected onto the celestial sphere all right so is that clear to you so we have celestial longitudes and we have celestial greenwich meridian so let's start with the second definition what is lha lha is known as the local r angle and it is the angle measured westwards 
of the observer's celestial meridian or the longitude up to the celestial meridian of the heavenly body all right so heavenly body we mean sun star planets so when we talk about celestial navigation we are basically trying to fix the ship's position at sea using the heavenly bodies of sun star planets moons etc and we can't since we can't uh, talk in distances we have to talk about it in angles so lha or the localar angle is the angle measured between the observer's celestial meridian so if i project the observer's meridian from the surface of the earth onto the celestial sphere because they all have to be in the same plane then it's called the observer celestial meridian meridian and the angle between the observer celestial meridian and the meridian of the heavenly body onto the celestial sphere is called localar angle i'll show you how it all works uh, later on with the diagram as well all right and then greenwich r angle or gha is the angle measured westward again remember westward is a key word so in the previous definition as well we had westwards please remember this is a key word so again greenwich r angle is measured westward of the greenwich meridian to the celestial meridian of the body all right so we have the greenwich meridian uh, when we say greenwich meridian it's the celestial greenwich meridian uh, is projected from the surface of the earth and then the celestial meridian of the body when we say body we mean the celestial body of course like the sun earth the sun star planets all right so what's the relationship between lha gha and longitude is that lha equals gha plus longitude if it is east or lha equals gha minus longitude if it is west longitude for example if gha for star is 333 degrees 4.5 minutes and longitude is west then to obtain your gha or rather to obtain your lha because it's west longitude you can see from the rule here gha minus the west longitude will give you the lha lha star also denoted like this how does it work in terms of a concept of a diagram so we've discussed that the longitude is measured greenwich uh, from the greenwich meridian just like the surface of the earth if you go east or west depending on that so in this case the longitude was 67 degrees 42.1 minute so what i did was i went westward from greenwich meridian all right so uh, unlike gh and lh longitudes can be measured westward or eastward depending on whether it's east longitude or west longitude right so from the greenwich meridian or oh, sorry gm is the celestial greenwich meridian let's use it as a point of reference if i go westward by 67 degrees and 42.1 minutes this gives me my longitude so i'm, I'm we're talking about it from uh, the example this example here all right i'm showing it to you in terms of a conceptual diagram here now what was uh, the lha lha was remember what was the definition of lha it was the angle measured westwards from the observer's meridian to the celestial meridian of the heavenly body in this case the lha is 265 degrees right so if i go westward from the observer's meridian right this is the observer's meridian now that i know the observer's meridian because i have plotted it from the point of the greenwich meridian i go westwards and i measure out 265 degrees 265 degrees 22.4 now these are all like i have just assumed these are the values it's just an abstract uh, approximation right is it or not accurately measured values but it gives us an idea so this gives us an lha so then what would be my gha my gha is again measured westward of the greenwich meridian to the celestial meridian of the body remember that right so if i measure westward from the greenwich meridian on to the celestial meridian of the body this gives me my gha and you can see from here that your gha is the bigger angle if i take away the longitude i will get the lha and that's what happened here as well so what i want you guys to remember is that whenever you get questions like this draw it out remember the definitions draw it out you can conceptualize it and then even if you don't remember the rule where lha equals gha plus east longitude or lha equals gha minus west longitude you will get an idea of what your lha should be if your gha and longitude is given to you uh, but i will also introduce the rule of thumb which is often used so if longitude is west gha is the best that means longitude is west gha is more than lha right or 
if longitude is east gha is least that means if longitude is east gha is less than lh so you get the idea right of course if i use this rule of thumb in this example here longitude was west gha was the best you can see the gha was more than lh so what i've shown you here is the relationship between longitude or celestial longitude gha and lh and not only in terms of rule of thumbs or formulas but also a conceptual drawing so make sure you go through this again use different examples use east longitude uh, and see how it works out for you but make sure you get the concept right because it helps you if you don't remember what to do when it's east or west longitude all right so try out different examples use examples of your own first work it out using the formula given then you work it out using the rule of thumb and then draw it on or see if all your answers match or not all right uh, go through this video multiple times to make sure that you get a good understanding see you guys soon